This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish, natural food for cats. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. Today I'm excited to share one of the most amazing creatures I've ever seen before, the leafy sea dragon. Now, this sea dragon blends in so much with the seaweed that you can't even tell it apart. But even on its own, it's breathtaking to look at. Leafy sea dragons are endangered, that's why our friends over at Ocean Rider Seahorse Farm in Kona, Hawaii are breeding them, trying to bring them back. Let's take a look. Super cool, they're called leafy sea dragons. They're only found in southern Australia. And they're so rare that the government of Australia allows one person, one permit, once a year to take one pregnant male out of the ocean. The babies are sold uh, for about $15,000 to oh public aquariums God. around the world. Wow. And the reason people pay that much is because they're beautiful, everybody wants to see them. They're designed to blend into the kelp forests in Australia, uh -huh. so you can't really see them if you're in the water looking for them because they blend in so well. But they're super exotic. These animals are actually part of our Seahorse Hawaii Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we're raising money to buy more dragons to increase the genetic diversity and to buy bigger tanks. Yeah. <laughs> because they, every time they mate, the female goes to pass the eggs to the male and then he swims away and she puts them on the side of the tank. Okay. So we think that our tanks are too small. Oh, right. So we just got a um, donation from someone for $10,000 to buy a new dragon tank, oh, which is going to be great. 15 feet wide by 7 feet tall. Oh, wow. So hopefully that'll solve the problem. Yeah. Amazing. Leafy sea dragons grow about 10 inches in length, and their fins are almost 100% transparent to appear like seaweed. Stay tuned later this week when we take an in-depth look into the Ocean Rider Seahorse Farm and talk about their mission to help save endangered seahorses. And before I go, there's a new show on the Animalist Network called Best Breed Ever. This week, they're covering corgis. If you could combine another animal with the sea, what would it be? A seahorse? A sea dragon? A sea badger? Let me know in the comments below. Check out these videos over here, subscribe, and I'll see you here in Mammals later.